Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Uh, in fact, I don't think it's going far enough. Because <laughs> I've always identified as a chimp, right? <laughs> well, I am a chimp. I, if I say I'm a chimp, I am a chimp, you know. Pre-op, but... Um, <laughs> and don't ever dead name me. Don't ever call me Ricky Gervais again. From now on, you call me Bobo. So, <laughs> I'm going to have species realignment. I'm halfway there, to be honest. I'm sort of short with short legs and long arms. I sort of stoop like that. My back's getting hairier by the day. I've got fangs. I, I love nuts. Oh, I love nuts. And once, I was at the zoo, and I could tell people were looking at me, so I just started masturbating. <laughs> so, I am a chimp, right? I am a chimp, if I say I'm a chimp. And so I'm, I've got to live as a chimp for a year, then have hormones, get me all nice and hairy. Like, that'd be lovely, right? I'm going to stay a male chimp, so I can keep all that, right? A male heterosexual chimp, keep the same girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Jane will be happy. She loves me. She loves chimps, so, you know. Yeah. And um, I reckon that's got to be easier for a man to turn into a chimp. We're so close than for a man to turn into a woman in many ways. You know what I mean? A bit of hair and a top lip like that, as opposed to your cock and balls ripped off <laughs> and a hole gouged out oh. into... No. no, I'm not a doctor, but that is <laughs> the gist of it. I know which one I'd rather have done. And I'm not saying I think chimps are better than women. No way. <laughs> right? Any ladies here, right? I can't see you, but to me, every single one of you is equal to a chimp. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna have all that done. So uh, hairy that, right? I do all that. I do all the. <coughs> uh, I retain the ability to speak English, like in emergencies. I'm talking to Jane. I'm going, she's going, what is it, Bo? Going, uh, 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 what is it, Bo? Bo? Ah, you left the fucking oven on. There's a fire. <laughs> What, are you telling me that if Caitlyn Jenner was being chased by a wolf, right, and there was a big fence, but she had a long pole, she, she'd revert. She'd be over that fucking... easy. So, I will that done, all that, top of it, ah, all that, doing all that, ah, right? I'll be legally a chimp. I'll be well, properly chimped up, right? I'll be able to use chimp toilets and everything, right? <laughs> And then I'll be walking along Hampstead High Street, holding Jane's hand. Come on, Bobo. Mm. 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 Like that, right? We don't even hold hands now, so I don't know why she's suddenly all over me just because I'm a chimp, right? <laughs> but we'll be all, all in love, maybe matching jumpers, something like that. Uh, walking along, mm. come on, Bobo, mm. in love. Just two guys, like that. Mm. Like that. And then if a bigot in a white van slows down and goes, that's fucking disgusting, <laughs> I just fling shit at him and run up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why that joke isn't transphobic, so... <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, humanity. What is humanity? What are we? Well, we've touched upon it there. We're great apes. Not metaphorically, we're literally great apes. We are 98.6% genetically identical to a chimpanzee. We're closer to chimps than chimps are to gorillas. We left our common ancestor about six million years ago. We have the same life cycle. Same life cycle as any other animal, which is our parents mate, we're born, we grow, we mate, our parents die, all our friends die, <laughs> and then we die. <laughs> now, my seven-year-old niece didn't like hearing that, right? <laughs> but I said, you've got to look. I said, stop crying. I said, I said, you're seven, you know, today. So... <laughs> Any more grizzly and this party's cancelled, so... <laughs> so let's take the first of those, right? Birth. It's already an odd one for humanity, because the human being is born before the end of its natural gestation period. And by that, I mean, because of our evolution, our brain is so big, we have to get that huge head out early. That's why the skull is in parts and supple, right? And then we have to carry on gestating outside the womb. That's why we're so useless. Compare us to other mammals, right? A giraffe is walking along, it goes, oh, I'm proper pregnant, right? <laughs> 
I'm going to have a baby giraffe right here, right? Yeah, there it is. See you later. Right? <laughs> and the baby goes, Mum, can I get my... It's got to be fucking ready, right? We're, we're helpless, right? So just think of that, right? Nine months, we're just growing in this perfect environment, just like... Just everything's... <laughs> it's like being a little Kate Bush video, right? <laughs> And then suddenly, and you're being squeezed out of an hole near an arse. <laughs> you're, you're covered in shit, they're screaming. You go, I can't breathe. Someone goes, yes, you fucking can. Right? <laughs> That's the first one second of life on Earth. You don't know where you are. You can't choose where you're born. I was born in a place called Whitley Estate in Reading, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't have chosen that. Um, <laughs> I'd have chosen Hampstead. I did choose Hampstead. It just took me 45 years to be able to afford it, right? <laughs> very different, very different, my upbringing, you know, to, to how I live now. I know I live a privileged life now. Hampstead, ridiculous. Oh, it's a rarefied place, right? It's just like the grandchildren of poets and painters and me, new money, right? <laughs> but growing up, it was tough. I, I don't know what it's like now, but in my day, my estate was really sort of rough and scary. It felt like wildlife. I was weak and vulnerable, right? And there was danger around every corner. The school I went to was on my street, and I ran there every day so I didn't get mugged or molested. And there weren't a lot of paedophiles in Reading, because the murderers had killed a lot of them, but there was still a, a couple, right? I moved to Hampstead. Oh, my God, it's uh, no crime. I saw a knife once in Hampstead. It was a pallet knife. Just a bloke, just painting, oil paint, in the middle of the street, broad daylight, no one was gobbing on it or calling him Bender. It was weird, right? <laughs> so, I know my life has changed drastically, but it wasn't always like that. And the reason I'm telling you this, as a famous person, you sort of read about yourself, you know, gossip and, you know, Twitter and everything. And one thing kept cropping up, even when I was sort of preparing for this tour, people were saying, oh, Oh, he's out of touch. He's so famous. He's rich. He's mega rich. I am. Uh, <laughs> I could have this place burned down for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they say things like, oh, he's an observational comedian. How can he say things that relate to ordinary scum? And I say... <laughs> I say, don't call them scum, right? But even the papers, they try and get around to it. I do interviews, and they'll always be able to say, oh, um, do you always fly first class? I go, no, often private. Yeah. <laughs> and the number of times I've answered this question, right, they say, um, uh, do you know how much a pint of milk is? It was meant to make you look out of touch, and I don't know, but that's irrelevant, right? <laughs> Next time a journalist asks me that, I'm going to say, I don't know, mate. But here's a grand. Run and get me one, will you? <laughs> Is that enough? Is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> Another question that I always get, particularly with the posh papers, the Sundays, they're doing a profile piece, and they're still trying to alienate you and make you look different, right? And they always say things like, um, no, you don't have children. I say, no. I say, why don't you have children? Which is a really odd question to ask someone, why don't you have children? As opposed to asking people, why do you have children, right? Let's ask the fat lady in the leggings why she's had eight, oh. shall we? <laughs> oh, nine. That one just fell out. That one... <laughs> that one didn't even touch the sides. Or, oh, touch or disturb a cigarette. That one just... <laughs> boom. Uh, go and claim for that. <laughs> People say, oh, it's selfish to not have children. How can it be selfish to not bring a life into the world that doesn't exist on okay. any level? It's not as a long sort of cabinet full of potential ghost feats going, we want to be born, right? <laughs> but I've thought about it, and there's three reasons I don't have children, OK? Three main reasons I don't have children, and I'll share them with you. OK, here they go. Three reasons, right? One, there's millions. <laughs> The world's overpopulated. No one's sitting around going, oh, Rick's not having kids, we're going to run out. <laughs> <laughs> Two, kids are scroungers, aren't they? I mean, from day one, it's all me, 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 isn't it? <laughs> Feed me, clothe me, pay for my chemotherapy.
Not my problem, son. Not my... <laughs> Luck of the draw, boy. Luck of the draw. <laughs> it costs the average household in the West $200,000 to bring up a child, right? And you don't see that back. They don't want to pay you back. They're not grateful. <laughs> they don't go, oh, thanks for having me every day. They go, I didn't want to be born, right? You, even if they get a top job, right, which they won't, Okay? <laughs> You'll never see that money back, right? They just put you in a home, okay? And my kid, he'd be born into ridiculous wealth, wouldn't he? So... <laughs> he'd be a little cunt. <laughs> a little hamstered cunt. <laughs> running around with all the other fucking little hamstered cunts. <laughs> Being all hamstered and cunty. I'm a little hamstered cunt. Yes, I know. I know. Yeah. These are my little cunty friends. Yeah, I know. It's obvious. Well, I can tell from your little fucking cunty hats that you're little <laughs> hamstered cunts. You little posh hamstered. And on the one hand, he'd know he was a little fucking hamstered cunt. I'm a little hamstered cunt. Yes, we know. Everyone knows, right? He'd know that, right? And on the other hand, he'd know that he could never live up to being as brilliant as his dad, right? <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, you know, I've worked my way out from nothing and I gave it to you and you're just a little useless hamstered cunt. You go, yeah, and it, that would probably prey on his little mind a bit, wouldn't it? Like, 11, 12, he'd sort of be a naughty boy, run with the wrong crowd, try and get out from under my shadow, right? And then he'd turn to drugs and about 30, he'd come home and he'd overdose on my oh. Afghan rug. 20 grand, that was, <laughs> right? And as he was there, right, convulsing and throwing up his fucking lungs, right? <laughs> And with his little posh, high-pitched fucking death <laughs> rattle, right? <laughs> his little fucking dying words. He'd go, do you love me now, Daddy? No. <laughs> no. No, I never did, and that's why you're never going to be born, you useless fucking uh... junkie <laughs> hamstered cunt. <laughs> And three, <laughs> I'd worry sick about him. You know, I, uh, no, I would. I've only got a cat at the moment, and I worry sick about her. I, I check the door three times when I go out so, you know, she doesn't escape. I put food and water in every room in case the door shuts. She's peckish for 20 minutes. Right? <laughs> A human baby, oh my God, the responsibility of a human life. I'd watch it sleep. I, I, you know, we said how weak and vulnerable they are. It's like, oh my God, you perfect little thing. You, oh, flesh of my flesh. Uh, go to sleep in your expensive cot. <laughs> oh. Night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs, oh, dead. <laughs> Yeah. Just... Why? Why is it dead? It's just fucking dead. Look. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking hell. What the? What a fucking waste of time that was. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Embarrassing. Jane! <laughs> what? Come here. I'm in the shower. Come here. What? Fucking dead already. <laughs> I, I did just fucking... <laughs> fucking hell, Jane. You call that a baby? That is... <laughs> if Jane was out, I'd have to text her, wouldn't I? <laughs> what could you... <laughs> Baby's dead. She'd come back, whoop, what the fuck? <laughs> I'd go, yep. <laughs> Forget the pampers, lol. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> no, but even if it made it through the terrifying cot years, right, and then it was a toddler running round head height to my antique tables with their sharp edges, I'd have to pad them so it didn't run into it and fucking cave its head in and die. <laughs> And then the social services come round and they say, is this your child, Miss Gervais? And I go, yeah. And they go, what happened here then? I go, it's a fucking idiot. Uh, 